Hi there. Welcome to the first video of the Smart Home Tech and Disability series. This video introduces smart home technology and the possibility it holds for people with disabilities. Before we get started, what is a smart home? Terms like connected home, home automation, and Internet of Things are frequently used to describe smart home technologies. While each term is slightly different from one another, collectively, they mean the devices are interconnected and can communicate with each other. This connection allows you to monitor and control your home environment either on your own using a smartphone or smart speaker or automatically based on time or events. Before smart home technology, traditional assistive technology, such as environmental control units or ECUs, have been used in supporting environmental control and daily participation of persons with disabilities in the home. However, ECU's use is often limited due to the high cost. Thanks to the rapid expansion of the mainstream smart home technology market, there are increased opportunities for affordable alternatives to traditional ECUs. Given the wide and constantly growing selection of smart home devices available, there are many ways in which these devices may increase independence and participation for persons with disabilities who often require assistance completing daily activities due to mobility, endurance, and cognitive limitations. So, let's explore a few. Smart light bulbs, smart switches, and smart plugs or outlets can be used to support lighting control. Smart thermostats, smart fans, smart switches, and smart fireplaces can be used to support climate control. Smart locks, smart doorbells, and smart garage door openers can be used to support home access and handling visitors. Additionally, an automatic door opener assistive technology device can be integrated into a mainstream smart home system. These devices, along with indoor and outdoor smart cameras and security systems, can be used to support home security and safety. Smart smoke and CO2 detectors, wearable devices, smart speakers, and smart phones can further improve safety by supporting efforts to reach an emergency contact or emergency service. Smart shower heads and bidets may improve participation and allow privacy for personal tasks such as bathing and toileting for persons with disabilities. Smart faucets, automatic soap, and toothpaste dispensers can support completion of personal hygiene tasks. Smart vacuums and mops, smart appliances, sensors, and apps can be used to support home management and identify and find assistance to complete home maintenance tasks. While smart plugs can support turning on and off household devices and appliances. Smart medication dispensers, wearable devices, and smart health devices and apps can be used to support management of health conditions and engagement in wellness activities. Smart scales and supply trackers, smart cameras, smart speakers and displays, smart phones and apps can be used to support shopping. While automatic food and water dispensers, smart pet toys, and automatic door openers can be used to support pet care. Smart TVs, streaming devices, smart speakers and displays, smartphones and tablets, and apps available to download on these devices can support communication with family and friends, finding information, paying bills and managing finances, coordinating transportation, managing your calendar, creating reminders and lists, and engaging in leisure activities such as reading, listening to music, playing games, and so much more. Persons with disabilities can control their smart home devices using a smart speaker or display, a smartphone or smart watch, which they can operate by touch, voice command, or assistive technology devices such as a sip and puff, switch, joysticks, eye gaze, or an AAC device. Still wondering how smart home devices can be used in your home? Let's talk to John. John is a 50-year-old man who has multiple sclerosis. John's MS limits the movement in his arms and legs, and he fatigues during prolonged activity. 
John's condition requires him to use a power wheelchair and rely on the help from caregivers employed by a local agency to help him with everyday activities. John purchased smart home devices to increase his independence and participation in daily activities at home and controls them with the Echo Show smart display and uses the Amazon Alexa app and smartphone. Previously, John had to leave extra keys outside his door to give his caregivers access to his house since he relied on their help to get out of bed in the morning. He feared his method was creating an unsafe situation for himself. John installed smart locks, which allowed John to unlock the door while in bed using his smart speaker. Now John can also provide each caregiver a specific code that can be updated weekly and works only during their designated visiting hours. However, John felt vulnerable and was concerned for his safety when unexpected visitors, delivery drivers, or substitute caregivers would show up at his door as he had no way to see who was there before opening it. So he installed a smart doorbell, which allows John to not only see who's at the front door, but also talk to them from an app on his smartphone to have control on who enters his home all before he unlocks the door. Unfortunately, John had a past experience with a caregiver who was stealing medications and only knew about this problem when he ran out of a newly refilled prescription. John installed smart cameras to help improve his safety and security. John's caregivers vacuum his house at least twice a week. However, it often was the first task pushed aside in the event that his caregiver was running late or he had a substitute caregiver, which left this task consistently uncompleted. John purchased a smart vacuum, which allows him to set a schedule through his Alexa to have his vacuum run throughout the week. Additionally, John can clean up spills as they happen rather than having to wait for the next caregiver to help because his smart vacuum has a spot cleaning feature that can be controlled through his smart display. One day when turning off the lights, John had a fall incident due to the light switch being out of reach. Thankfully, John was okay, but realized if his caregiver wasn't still at home with him, he would not have been able to call for help. To improve John's safety, he installed a personal emergency response system through his smart display that allows John to alert emergency contacts using voice command. To further improve his personal safety, John installed smart switches, a smart thermostat, and smart blinds, as accessing these devices constantly pose as a potential fall risk due to being out of reach. Additionally, these devices allow John to regulate his body temperature, which is important for managing his MS, further improving John's health management. John installed a smart light bulb in his bedside lamp and smart TV in his bedroom that he controls using a smart speaker that allows him to go about his nightly routine and enjoy TV as he pleases. With the installation of these new smart home technologies, John now relies less on his caregiver to manage his household and increased his participation and satisfaction with his daily routine. Now that we've seen how John uses smart home technology in his home, let's meet Sam. Sam is a 22-year-old college student who lives in off-campus apartments. Sam has a developmental disability, which affects her ability to learn, pay attention, and remember steps when completing simple everyday tasks, which results in her mom frequently coming up to her apartment to check up on her. Sam is frustrated with her mom's constant supervision. However, Sam's mom has been providing Sam assistance with her everyday tasks up until the time she has moved out and is worried about Sam if she is not frequently supervised. Sam's mom respects Sam's ambitions for living independently, but wants a solution so she can feel comfortable about Sam living independently that also gives Sam more independence. As a solution, Sam and her mom purchased the Google Home and Google Assistant on her Android smartphone. Google Watch, and Nest Hub smart display. Sam set up her smart home to predominantly use voice command to interact with her devices. Voice access allows Sam to have control anywhere in her apartment, so she does not have to remember to carry her smartphone with her all the time. Sam's devices help her perform daily activities because she receives verbal cues from her voice assistant, visual cues from her smart devices on her smartwatch, 
smartphone, and smart display, and tactile cues from her wearable devices that give a vibration to her wrist to remind her of set reminders and notifications to assist with her needs. Sam used to struggle getting ready in the morning, which often resulted in her being late. However, Sam's smart lights and voice assistant play a big role in making her morning routine successful. Sam customized her morning routine to begin at 7 a.m. when her alarm goes off. Her bedside lamp will then turn on, along with her voice assistant, stating the time, weather, and calendar appointments for the day. These cues allow Sam to hear her schedule for the day and get ready accordingly. Sam set up her voice assistant to state when she has 30 minutes and 15 minutes left before she has to leave her apartment for the day at 8 a.m. Sam takes several medications throughout the day and sometimes forgets to take a dose. Sam purchased a smart medication dispenser, which dispenses the medication and sends reminders to her smart devices at scheduled times to help ensure she never misses a dose. Additionally, a sensor in the dispenser can notify Sam's mom if she misses a dose. Sam would often get distracted during cooking tasks and forget to turn off lights when she left a room or lock the door when leaving her apartment. To reduce these safety and security risks, automated routines and sensors were introduced, allowing the front door to lock and lights to turn off when geolocation sensors in Sam's smartphone detect she has left the apartment. While motion sensors, a smart countertop oven, and cooking apps on her smart display help her stay on task while cooking and ensure appliances are turned off when she is done. Additionally, installing smart smoke and CO2 detectors allow alerts to be sent to both Sam and her mom's smartphones if an emergency were to occur. As a student with a frequently changing schedule, Sam has struggled navigating different apps to plan out her week. Now, Sam tells Google Assistant to add upcoming meetings and assignment deadlines to her shared to-do list and calendar apps, and her mom can remotely assist Sam in planning out her weekly schedule. Additionally, routines help ensure Sam receives reminders for all upcoming events and assignments. Sending visual alerts to display on her smartwatch, along with vibrations to catch her attention, which has improved her ability to switch between tasks and get to appointments on time. While visual reminders on her smart display and phone help prioritize what assignments to work on and provide additional reminders as needed to ensure they're submitted on time. There is untapped potential for smart home tech and how it can benefit people with disabilities with daily activities, but bringing this potential to life can take some work. Fortunately, our series will take a deep dive into how smart home tech can work for your specific needs. Make sure to check out the next video in our series so you don't miss out. If you have specific topics that you would like to learn more about, go to our satisfaction survey at the bottom of this page and let us know what you would like to learn about. Thanks for watching.